Hey everyone, so here's a question on algebraic expression and here the question is add x plus y minus y, y minus x plus y and the last is x minus y plus y. So here I'm going to show you both the ways how to do it in a horizontal way and the column method. So first I'm going to show you the horizontal way. So the first expression is x plus y minus y. Now this will be plus the second expression which is y minus x plus 5 now plus the third expression so x minus y plus 5 so this is equal to now we're going to add the like term so if you see here we have a x minus x so and one more x so plus x and minus x will get cancelled we're left with only x which is with the positive sign so we'll get x here now next we have y so y and then we have a y and then we have minus y. So positive y and negative y will get cancelled. We are left with one positive y that is plus y. Next we have a constant. We have a minus 5. We have a 5. And then we have again plus 5. So minus y and plus 5 will get cancelled. We are left with only positive that is plus 5. That's it. So this was a very simple question. I am going to show you the same way with the column method how we can solve. Column method means we're going to place this expression uh, in a vertical way. So this is a, a second method I'm going to show you. So you can follow whichever method is comfortable or easy for you. So first expression given here is x plus y minus 5. Now when you're doing this, you have to place the like terms one below the other. In the second expression, I have a y. So I'm going to place it below the y. Then minus x. It will come below the x and then plus 5. Just make sure that you put the proper sign. In third expression, we have a x with a positive sign. So it will be x. We have a minus y and then plus 5. Now we are going to solve this. We have to add them. So it is overall positive sign. Now x minus x when I solve, it is 0, right? x plus minus x is 0. And then 0 plus x will be x again. So I will get x as a first term. Then similarly second one we have a y plus y which is 2y. y plus y is 2y. And then from this 2y we have to add minus y. So 2y minus y will be y. So second, x, second term will be plus y. And last one minus 5 plus 5 is 0 and then 0 plus 5 will be 5 so third term will be 5 here so we got same answer x plus y plus 5 i hope it's clear in case you have any question or doubt you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching